It's time for Fast Friday. Well, hi everyone and welcome to Pal the Tech. Excuse the mess. <laughs> we are talking today about the pre-shot electronic shutter. Now you'll find this feature located in the camera icon of your menu right here. If you notice that you cannot turn it on, you see how it's grayed out there? That's because in order for this to be enabled, the shutter type must be set to electronic. That is also located in the little camera icon as well. Go ahead and put it on electronic shutter. And if you go back to pre-shot ES, still can't enable it. And that's because there's one more setting you need to make. You need to set your mode dial to continuous high. Once you've done that, you can go right in and select on. You'll also know that you have it enabled by the little icon in the lower left. You see that right there? Now the entire idea behind this feature is to make sure that you don't miss a critical second of what you're trying to capture. So for example, if you're taking a fast action sporting shot or I don't know, something splashing in water perhaps, there could be a delay in your brain from the time you go, oh, I gotta press it now, right? And then press the button until the time the camera records the image on the SD card. There's a lag. And you know, if you're tired, the lag might be longer, right? And in fact, if you have one of these, that lag could be even longer. So what this feature does is once you have it enabled, the second that you half press the shutter button, the camera starts taking photos. It doesn't save them to the SD card, but rather it saves them to a memory buffer, like short-term memory. Memory. So the logic would be that if you want to capture a really cool action shot, you get all ready, set, go, you're half pressing down the shutter button, half pressing it, and the action's about to begin, and then the minute that you see the action begin, you then press the button all the way down to burst mode the shots. But you still might have that little delay in from when your eye sees, oh, it's in frame, I better take the shot, until you actually finish pressing the button down. Doesn't matter, because the camera has already pre-shot about 10 frames ahead of that. Does that make sense? For this demo, I'm gonna use a Fujifilm X-T4 camera with a 16 millimeter lens on it right here. I am gonna take this GoPro camera and simply drop it in the water. Again, I will half press the shutter button and then as soon as I think it's about to hit the water, I will press all the way in. Remember though that the camera will be taking those shots even before I finish half pressing the shutter button. So we'll see, you know, we'll see what we get. First, we need a little bit more light. Okay, I'm gonna make all the other settings on the camera manual. So I'm using this tape measure here to roughly mark the spot where I intend on dropping the camera and I'm going to manually focus to that spot. Okay, adjusting ISO and shutter speed for exposure. Okay, that should be good for now. Okay, I've got the GoPro here ready to go at a roughly the, the place that I had it set for. I am now half pressing down the shutter button, which means the camera is starting to take those photos and cycle. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, that was one. Okay, we'll do one more. I'm gonna drop it from a higher position. <laughs> Give it a little more impact. Okay, ready? Here we go. Half pressing the shutter. All right, I think we got something there. Look at how I was able to get the camera the second it went into the water. Have a look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so there's a few things that you need to know about this pre-shot electronic shutter feature on Fujifilm camera. The first is that you must have your camera set in both electronic shutter and high speed burst mode. I told you that already, but it bears repeating. Secondly, you can use this feature with JPEG, RAW files, or both JPEG and RAW, which is really awesome. Third, you could not use a flash because it uses electronic shutter on the camera, which prevents you from using a flash. And lastly, you can alter the burst frame rates that you're shooting with just like when you're shooting in normal burst mode. So for example, I can go into drive setting, high speed burst, and change this to say 30 frames a second if I want. Don't forget though, you have the 1.25 crop if you do that. One final word of caution when shooting with these high speed burst rates, be very careful not to pull out your SD card while that green and amber light is still flashing. It can take a while, especially if you're shooting raw, to save the files to your SD card. So be patient, wait until that light comes out before taking your SD card out. Well, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you found 
found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will be signing off now. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in a new video next week. Take care.